Okay, Facebook and YouTube, this is a second take of a video I had already previously shot. A lot of times with videos, sometimes you notice things about it that you don't like, but the people don't really notice it, so that's the reason, I, the reason I'm reshooting it. <clears throat> I'm also going to try to keep it a little bit shorter. This is a mixed potting project I had did. It looks better with in the natural light as well but in here there's four plants there's a um diefenbachia diefenbachia or dumb cane there's this aglonemia and then here look at this other one this looks so much better in the light In the natural light, you can't replace the sun. And my Steve Blue Pothos. And the cool thing about this is, I, it's only been set up about a month or so, but if you look, there is a lot of um, it's new growth in here. <clears throat> you guys have to forget my voice. I just basically have a cold going on. Highly congested. In my last video, I kind of had showed one of my philodendrons off, so I decided to show one. Why not show all of them? Here is a Rojo Congo. I'm going to put my arm. Um, Here's one of my favorites. This is a Velvet Leaf Mikan. A friend had sent me some cuttings of these. I went ahead and it's in, I have it in two places. <clears throat> one of my pride and joys. I, I have it, the other one that's in the um, terrarium, so I couldn't move it out here. It's known, this is known as a silver leaf. And mine was a bargain. I only paid like $2 for it. I looked it up on the site. Once I learned the proper name, it was like $50. So, um, and this, let me just show you the other one. I got to cover my hand. You guys know I don't edit my videos. So, I want you to see, once you see my nasty bedroom. Here's the, um original it's in like a terrarium like i don't do cuts on my videos so i just cover it with my hand uh, it's what i do here is a it's a neon philodendron i had got it from a friend at first it was struggling but um it is starting to put new leaves out Which is always a good sign. Moonlight. Moonlight philodendron. The leaves are extremely um, bright. Oh, goodness. And this is a... It's a... Um, Burl Max, Burley Max, or Marx. Philodendron, and I love this particular one. I like all philodendrons, so I'm, I'm seeing, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I got about seven of them. And then in the video, I had also talked about. Um, my pothos vine, golden pothos, which starts starts here in my aquarium, drops down, shoots all the way through my living room, 
Now, first, the original idea, I was just, I was going to let it just go wherever it wanted to, but I decided to terminate it here in this pot. And what I was showing in the, in the last video, which I think is the coolest thing, look how hard this is. It's so um, embedded into the soil, I cannot move it. And that's always a good thing. It's in there with a baby corn plant and also a ZZ plant. And that's a beautiful thing because when you see those air roots that they that they've um locked themselves in, that means the plant has adjusted to its new home and it's doing great, it's doing um pretty good. I've, like I said, I reshot the video. The first one, I just uh, there's things I noticed that you got you guys would not notice that kind kind of got on my nerves or whatever. But now that I'm looking at this in the natural sun, I'm glad I redid it. As you can see, the real beauty of this um, aglonemia, the pink is coming out very, a lot, a lot better. You can see these colors. So it was a cool little project. I really had fun doing it. And I'll probably most likely be doing more of these mixed potters. I think it looks a lot better when it's not just one solid plant or one single plant by itself. I do see one browning, so I'm going to go ahead and actually take it off. I don't like when they too much um, browning on them. But there you have it. A mixed potter, and then also my how I terminated my um, uh, pothos vine. Love plants, people. There would be no signs of me slowing down. Other thing, look at this sun where you can see um, the natural light that my plants get here in my house. That is a west facing window. And then the other thing I was going to show you, oh, I'm actually forgetting a couple of my own. Um, Philodendrons. Um, here is it's a green philodendron. It starts out of here and it climbs. As you see, it goes up here. And now it's going up way up the wall so it's so close to the ceiling so <clears throat> then I have a, also a Brazilian philodendron I have many copies but here's one and I'm starting to kind of curl it under my um this little shelf I got and this is a baby of it a baby one the mother plant is not really that big but it is very healthy I've had it Long time. My latest, this is a pothos. It's a, um, they call it like a um, satin pothos. If you look at it, you can see how this bad boy is huge. A lot of, um, every time I look at it, it has new, new leaves going on. And here's a second velvet leaf mic and I got. It's in a little, uh, like a cylinder. And it is really, really, really taking off as well. So, all right, I'm rambling and that's what I don't want to do. So that's the end of the video. Hope everybody enjoyed it. As always, I thank you for supporting my channel.